lots of Queen Liana Don't be no Benny Hanna She done been through lots of drama She the way to 50 Lama She done work, work, work Almost dropped 200 pounds But it work, work, work You can't keep this woman Okay, here's my story. Check it out. I know some of you guys are like, why the heck does her hair look like that? Why? I recently took out a weave and I just washed it. And you see my ends are really straight. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit about my journey. So, a lot of you guys know, like, I've been on this crazy weight loss journey. I lost 180 pounds naturally. And it's just been a crazy um, last, I guess I started in 2007. And so, this the last eight years of my life have been just crazy. Um, years of transformation, years of a lot of pain, years of a lot of triumph, years of a lot of hard circumstances. You guys know in 2013, I lost my dad. And after that, it was just a very vulnerable, uh, raw uh, season. I, I interfaced just a lot of difficult circumstances. And um, also on top of that, being, um, being a youth pastor... It, it was, you know, very difficult some days just getting up and, and, and facing my kids and giving them courage and, and motivation, inspiration and hope because I struggled to even find it myself. And but the one thing that kept me authentic was if I was going to stand in front of my kids and tell them about this Jesus, if I was going to stand in front of my kids and tell them about hope, if I was going to stand in my kids and tell them about triumph, then I had to do it, too. You know, I had to believe it. I had to walk in it. And so it's just been just like crazy years anyway. Part of my um, situation with my hair. So here's my journey. You guys know that I work out. I work out all the time. And um, being a black woman and working out is not easy because our hair is a very, is, is, um, a very important aspect of our, of our lives. And um, it is not easy. We don't just have straight hair. We can just go to the gym, do whatever, walk away, and it's not a big deal. If I get my hair pressed, if I get my hair straightened, I'm trying to look cute, and then I work out one time. Me, Leon, for like 10 minutes. It's a wrap. And so it's not worth it financially. And so I found myself just in braids a lot. And not that that's a problem, but I didn't want to always be in braids. I also did not want to perm. But I, you know, so I started doing some weaves, but I would leave some of the front of my hair out. Um, when I did that, my hair didn't match the weave. And so I would like perm my edges. I would perm that part of my hair that I left out, which, you know, started to damage my hair. Then I had portion of my hair as one texture and I just didn't like it. Then eventually I went, it's like, you know what, let me just get a, let me just get a, a, a relaxer, you know, took the weave out, had the relaxer for a while. And I was just, after I was just like so mad, like I didn't want it anymore. I wanted my natural hair back. I wanted my hair back. And so what I did about a year ago is I, so all of 2014, I was like, you know what, I'm going to grow my hair back to the point where I can, you know, start cutting out the perm and I'm going to cut my hair out all the way when I have the new growth back and I just want to start over. I want to do something fresh. I want to cut all my hair off and just start growing my hair back in, start um, taking good care of my edges. Like I didn't want to be edgeless. And a lot of us are like we are wearing ponytails and we're pulling them back tight and wearing bandanas. This is my story. I wear bandanas and ponytails and always tying down my edges. And it was just taking and in the perm, it was just take. I mean, it's starting to finally grow back in, which is it was taking my edges out. But I knew that I could not have short haircut and no edges. That was not going to be cute. So last year, I put in um, a full weave with also the bangs. You guys saw my hair with the bangs so that my entire hair was in. No hair was left out so like my edges can start growing back in and taking care of them. And so this week, I was about to put another full weave in. Like, oh, let me take my weave in, put a curly weave in. And I thought to myself, A, I can't afford it right now. I just have a lot going on in my life. I can't afford it. And B, I, um, you know what? It's the top of the year. It's 2015. Maybe I should go for the big chop. And, and my edges are coming back in. So I think I can do this now. And I have some new growth. Um, like from here all the way to here, you can see the difference. This is where it gets really thin. That's the perm is still in there. but And a lot of my hair came out. But it's okay. So I'm going to cut it off. But all of this came back in. All of this is new growth. All up until like right here where it starts, starts to get straight. So I was like, I can do the chop. I can cut this off. I can go for it. I was scared out of my mind, like, oh my God, am I going to really do this? Like, I was just afraid, like, I don't want to look like a boy, or what if they don't cut it right? Just really, really scared. Then I went to therapy. Some of you guys know I go to therapy. I have a therapist. I love that woman. She's like my BFF. She's not really. People say she's not your best friend, Liana. I don't care what people say. She is like my best friend. <laughs> I know I'm not her best friend, but she's my best friend. Like, that woman has saved my life. Anyway, so I went to therapy. 
And I said to my therapist, um, we were just talking about something not related to my hair, but just some difficult circumstance I interfaced with whatever. And I was kind of beating up on myself. And she's like, you know what, Liana? It takes a tremendous amount of courage to follow your heart into unfamiliar territory. And I was like, I've done that in my life. I'm like, I, I have courage. Like, I found myself like, it takes a tremendous amount of courage to follow your heart into unfamiliar territory. Sometimes you don't know. You don't know what it's going to turn out like. You don't know what the outcome is going to be. You don't know, but you take that risk because you're following your heart. And so it may be small for somebody else, but my heart, my desire is like, I want to cut my hair off. I want to start over. And it's funny because um, people, are, I've heard it say like, your hair, a woman's hair is her crown, you know? And I was like, what does that mean? And I was like, you know what? No, maybe for someone. But I was like, Liana, her smile is her crown. Like no matter what, all of my life, 300 pounds, 200 pounds, 150 pounds, a 30 pound kid, all of my life. The one thing that has been consistent through every season, through every heartache, through every trial, through every changing moment is my smile has remained the same because that has been the hope that has carried me throughout my life. So I was like, my hair is not my crown. My hair doesn't make me. I make my hair. And it's going to be a beautiful journey, and I'm really excited. But the one thing that remains consistent about me that can never change and I will never change because it's been my hope factor, it's been the thing that's given me life to keep going as I smile through the storm, through the rain, through the heartache, through the tears. It's not that it's fake. It's just that there's this light inside of me. There's this hope, this fire that Christ has placed inside of me that gives me that extra push to say, this season, whatever this season is, it ain't going to take me out. So anyway, I smile and I keep going and I find that laughter in life and I find that joy in life and I find that peace in life and I find that whatever that thing is that I need to keep going. Anyway, so I just finished washing my hair. I know I look like I just stepped out the color purple. I don't care. I love being a black woman. And I am, and just, I'm super transparent. Like, why not? You guys see my body. You see my surgeries. You see my tears. I've opened it. Here I am. This is me. So I am going to go today for a consultation. Hopefully, she can just chop me right there. I'm like, just do it. Because I'm the type of person where I'm just like, if I don't do it right now, it ain't going to be done. So, let's just do this. So, I'm really excited about the journey. And I will be show updating you guys and just take you on my little hair journey with me as well. As in, my life has just been one about transformation, overcoming, going after the hard things, following my heart when I have no, no, no blueprint, and just living my life. You know, I was scared. Like, what if I look like a boy? What if boys don't like me? Whatever. Like the man that's for me would look at me and be like, she is the, I was about to say something, I'm a youth pastor, so my kids are probably watching this. So she the business, you know, short hair, no hair, long hair, weaves, braids, perms. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, who I am is who I am in here. And my goal is that always that that is reflected. And I think that the place that that is most reflected is in the fact that I smile and I keep going and I push through life. So don't get me wrong. I plan on being cute. But I just pray, I hope that this is, this is it, that, that it, it, it looks good and that, that I just keep going. Anyway, welcome to the Big Chop journey.